kasi biglang umulat. And parang gusto ko ngayon is to parang include itong city ko yung Las Piñas and today I'll be having my haircut. Barber shop since I'm not about to bed. I'll just have my hair cut. Then let's talk about camera gears. I live here in Las Pinas for the past 20 years, so I think I wanted to include it more in my videos. Back to the main point of video na to, I wanted to share to you the story of the camera gears that I regret buying the past 4 years. But before that, let me share to you the backstory on how I started making internet videos. So this all started back in 2016. We went to my college friends ko sa El Nido, Palawan. Hi, and sakto yung isang friend ko doon, nagdala siya ng GoPro niya and she recorded some videos. And sakto din, uh, that was the year na na-discover ko yung YouTube and nakita ko yung channel ni KC Neistat. And I was heavily uh, inspired dun sa mga content na ginagawa niya kasi pwede ka palang gumawa ng content na hindi basura, na hindi stupid, na sa story in the video and may meaning and purpose yung video mo. And ayun, uh, uh, parang naisip ko, oh, pwede pala tong gantong content on the internet. At first, I was very hesitant in putting my content out there sa internet because, alam mo, people will fucking judge you here. Parang isipin ng mga tao, ano bang kailangan nito? Gusto ba nito magpasikat? Kailangan ba nito ng tao na ito ng attention? And to be fair with their judgment, nagigets ko kung saan sila nang galing because still, majority of the content on the internet is made for virality and walang sense. Going back dun sa Palawan trip namin, I asked my friend for her videos and I just edited it and mashed it and yun na yung pinakaunang video na ginawa ko. I link it in the show notes if interested kayong makita yon. So back in 2017 and 2018, ang ginagawa ko lang back then was uh, Instagram stories. Today I'm going to my dentist. I have this love and hate relationship with my dentist. I love them because they keep my teeth clean, healthy, and of course the braces. One minute videos lang yun. And yung reason why is because napaka-limited nung capacity ko to make interesting videos. So yung reason, yun lang yung pinaka-reason nun kasi uh, itong skill na to, may skill to talk to the camera with parang eye contact and parang have yung emotions ko, parang deliver yung, yung gusto ko talaga sabihin. It took me four years just to be here. When I asked my friends for help in making these videos, yung parang nag aasa ko sa kanila na pwede ba silang gumawa ng video, nakakausapin nila yung camera, and para i ko yung mga uh, videos ko, sobrang nahihirapan sila and I think uh, that is a very hard skill na matutunan to, to be able to be comfortable talking to a camera. Going back dito sa video na to, so in those four years, ko ng paggawa ng videos. I also uh, build up yung mga gears na ginagamit ko and to be fair, yung pinaka main point ng video nito, I share to you yung mga nirigret kong gears na binili ko. Alright, I just have to switch locations. Number one on this list is Gorilla Pod. I think it is the most overrated YouTube gear of all time. I think what makes it popular is because you could always parang stick it everywhere. But what is the drawback with the Gorilla Pod? As you extensively use yung Gorilla Pod mo, yung legs niya becomes weak and madalas yun yung reason why most vloggers destroy or damages their camera. This is super versatile, small, light, easy to use, but it like does have a tendency to tip over. I got my first dent in my camera because of that reason kasi nahulog yung camera ko dahil humina na yung legs ng Gorilla Pod ko. Plus, I already have parang lima na neto. Pero tatlo na lang yung natatago ko. So yun, it's not good for uh, long-term vlogging. So I'm finally switching to a different tripod. Hindi na Gorilla Pod. And that's the reason why you should not use Gorilla Pod anymore. Number two is action camera for vlogging. If you intend to do vlogs, uh, one of the worst way to start is using action camera. I think it's it's better pa na gamitin mo yung phone mo than uh, using action cameras. My very first camera was a Xiaomi Yi action cam. That was my first camera. 
it was the best and cheapest action cam at that time. And to be honest, madami ako natutunan from that camera, but it's not good for vlogging. And to be honest, if you want to start, parang just do it with a phone or kaya naman point and shoot, it's better that way. I think action camera is a very parang specific niche, which is yung outdoor, super active activity. If that's your content, I think it's better to use action cam, pero pag hindi ganun, if it's just ordinary, typical vlogs, I suggest start with phone or kaya naman a point and shoot camera. They are now promoting action camera setups for vlogging, but nah, I'm still not buying that idea. Number three on my list is a drone. Ito, hindi ko siya pinagsisiyan or I don't actually regret it. Ang hindi ko lang nagustuhan sa kanya is, I wasn't able to use it as much as I wanted to. It's quite stressful to fly a drone kasi alam mo yun, anytime pwedeng magloko yung drone mo or yung connection ng uh, remote mo to your drone and it's expensive and parang naisip mo, sayang. So yun, it's quite stressful in that way. Plus, it costs too much attention. Uh, there's a time na pumunta ako sa UP and nagpalipad ako ng drone and yung panahon ng mga hype beast and nakita nila yung drone and bigla nila ang pinalibutan kasi parang na-curious sila. So, yun, uh, it's, it's parang it draws too much attention which is ayaw mo pag nagbablog ka. Plus, uh, 9 times out of 10, sisitayin ka ng card. So, ayun, it, I wasn't able to utilize it as much as gusto ko siyang gamitin. Number 4 on my list is my audio recorder. At first, I intended to use for my podcast kasi last year, I was always hanging out with my friends parang every weekend. And naisip ko, uh, yung pinag-usapan namin, we could turn it into a digital content. Kaya lang, life and fate has a different plans. Yung friend ko na single for 25 years, so no girlfriend siya since, since birth suddenly had a girlfriend so yung time niya with us uh, nabawasan na or we, we actually don't hang out anymore every week pero okay lang I'm really really happy for him uh, so yun instead ginamit ko na lang yung audio recorder ko for, for my vlogs but as I try to increase yung pinaproduce kong videos every week nagiging hassle na siya so yun uh, instead just don't use it anymore and ginamit ko na lang yung old microphone ko yung old shotgun mic ko na mas simpleng gamitin if you are creating internet video content your story is more important than the gear if your story is really really compelling it will resonate to a lot of people na nanonood ng videos mo lastly focus more on skills it will compensate to the lack of gears when you're just starting out instead of having a, a lighting equipment or a ring light use your window light it will be as good as uh, your ring light or kaya naman if you don't have an expensive mic, learn how to rig or place yung mic mo near to your mouth because uh, if you place it near enough, it will be it will sound as good as uh, an expensive mic. That's it for this video. I hope there's a few people out there who appreciate this kind of video. Most of my videos tend to resonate but it's about adulting or kaya personal finance. I don't know, just want to share my creative side. Maybe there's a few people out there na who might appreciate this. Who knows, diba? Lastly, I'd like to ask a favor. Kindly hit the like button. It will help this video reach more people. And lastly, if hindi ka pa subscriber, kindly hit the subscribe button. And yun lang. That's it. Hope you appreciate this video. Bye!